So basically, Tawana is going to explain why and how she got hooked to the thugs and the street dudes. You know, she's going to explain why she was even dealing with them savages. Let me start this off by saying I'm not downplaying no form of man. I literally was curious as to why I'm only attracting hood men. And then it hit me. I was the reason I was attracting hood men. Where do I start? I was always in the streets, drinking, smoking, trying to hustle. I was always shooting dice. I didn't have no college education. And then I was like telling men to be consistent with me. Meanwhile, I'm entertaining other men. I only used to wear like jeans, joggers, and gym shoes. Like I never had any type of girly clothes. I wouldn't get my hair did. I wouldn't get my nails did. And it's like, I didn't have no motivation beyond the hood. You know, I didn't have a caring, faithful, nurturing look to myself. You know, my credit score used to be like a 450. I had a felony. I didn't have no license at the time. I mean, it's like me having a lot of tattoos push a lot of men away. And it's not that you can't find a genuine man with tattoos. I know to some men, it gives off a masculine energy or, you know, maybe they're just not into it or maybe the field of work that they're in, they don't want to present their wife and she, you know what I'm saying, have a lot of tattoos. It's like I really didn't have no education or skills to get off into white collar jobs. So, of course, minimum wage and hustling was the option I took. I had very bad slang to my conversation. I was always cursing. I always tried to wear the pants. And it's like I had no femininity to me at all. You know, I was basically just a hood chick with a hood state of mind. And I had to understand that's exactly why I was attracting hood men. I had to, you know, upgrade my vocabulary. I had to make personal changes, speak more softer, learn feminine etiquette, upgrade my credentials. You know, what can I do for him versus looking for a guy to do something for me? And, you know, it's like I had to change my surroundings of people and places. You know, it's okay to look for a good man or a good woman. Just, you know, work on being a good man, a good woman yourself. I don't want this one. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. Send another one, please. I promise I'm not being ungrateful. I promise. Good morning, beautiful. Just want to let you know I've been thinking about you all night. Last night I had such a look. Wake up. You ain't sleep, ho. We like tank tops. We like Instagram likes. They will be smashing your check. We are light skinned. What is the biggest takeaway from this entire experience? The biggest takeaway from this experience is that I'm going to do it again.